there's a lot of pressure on, on me as a pharmacist to get these vaccines out because they want to sell them. And um, my uh, question is, sometimes I guess I want your advice because I feel guilty in a way to, to be promoting um, flu vaccine, for example, t to everyone because I, I'm required to sell. And um, sometimes I hear that there's this little old lady that was doing fine and then they had the flu vaccine and all of a sudden now they're not doing fine. And sometimes I think I need to be protecting some of our customers from this push that I'm supposed to be selling vaccines. Well, so the, the influenza vaccine is recommended for people over six months of age. Um, the vaccine on years where there's a good match, and certainly there was a, you know, last year we, we had a terrible match with me, which is to say what was in the vaccine matching the strains that were circulating. This year it looks like a, a very good year, and, and, and in good years um, you, the, the vaccine will prevent roughly 60 percent of a medically attended influenza-like illness. And for every 10 percent of efficacy, you'll prevent about 29,000 hospitalizations. So giving a flu vaccine is a good thing. Um, um, it's too bad. I mean, I, I wish that, uh, that you, the, the incentive that you had would be that you are doing a, a, something that, that is a good health requirement for, for these people. Um, it shouldn't have anything to do with the financial incentive. I certainly know that pediatricians don't feel a financial incentive to push vaccines. I mean, hopefully they're all doing it for the right reasons, which is it's a good thing to do. Um, you know, there's always going to be events that occur following that vaccine. The question is, is it causal or coincidental? I mean, you know, it's an inactivated virus. It doesn't reproduce itself. It can cause, you know, sort of low-grade, you know, fever, sometimes, you know, obviously pain at the, at the site of injection, um, sometimes, you know, sort of mild, mild symptoms, but not, certainly not, uh, not anything severe. It's a killed virus. I mean, so it doesn't really do anything. Um, other than hopefully protect you against flu. I mean, you know, the, the trick is matching the strains to the circulate, matching the strains in the vaccines to the circulating strain. That's done by figuring out which viruses are circulating in South America, because that usually predicts what comes up into North America. You know, when we had the sort of H3N2 switch last year, that was a surprise, and so we had a bad match. Donald, do you get the flu shot every year? No. Why? No. I don't know. I've never had one. And thus far, I've never had the flu. Uh, I don't <laughs> like the idea of injecting bad stuff into your body you which is basically what they do and i guess this one has not been very effective to start off with but the last one but i've never had a flu shot and i've never had the flu i better knock on wood